The Battle of Stalingrad Panorama Museum is located near the embankment of the hero city of Volgograd, on the historical site of the landing of the 13th Guards Rifle Division, which crossed the Volga under heavy enemy fire in September 1942. The museum is a grandiose exposition dedicated to one of the most significant battles of World War II and the Great Patriotic War, the Battle of Stalingrad. Being a separate museum object, it is part of the Battle of Stalingrad Museum Reserve, the largest memorial and architectural complex in Russia. The Battle of Stalingrad Panorama Museum is located in a monumental white building that looks like a stylized medieval fortress tower, but of a more complex shape. The huge three-level interior space of the museum includes a memorial and a triumphal hall, as well as thematic halls, where military collections, mock-up sets and video installations of battles are presented. The upper hall, under the roof, is the grandiose circular panorama canvas, the defeat of the Nazi wars at Stalingrad. Its size is 16 x 1 to 0 meters, and it is the largest painting created in Russia, as well as one of the largest man-made art panoramas in the world. The huge canvas depicts the battle that took place on January 26, 1943, which ended with the unification of the 21st and 62nd armies of the Don Front on the western slope of Mamai of Kurgan. The January battle ended with the encircled German army being cut into two parts and then completely routed. Conventionally, from the height of Mamai of Kurgan, you can see familiar silhouettes of city buildings Gerhardt's Mill, Pavlov's House, the water tower of the railway station, factories, the artists painted the theater of military operations in detail, managing to convey on canvas the interaction of various branches of the armed forces aviation and ground units infantry, tanks, artillery. When creating the panel, the painters used a technique well known in easel painting and the practice of creating panoramas combining events in time and space. The Panorama Museum Battle of Stalingrad has eight exhibition halls, which display more than 3,000 unique exhibits, photographs, documents, medals, personal belongings, weapons, equipment and much more, reminiscent of the military history of the city. The exhibits presented in each of the halls are united by a common theme they are dedicated to different stages of the battle for the city. One of the main exhibits presented in the museum is the sword of Stalingrad and a worked sword with precious metals and stones, forged by order of the King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland George V as a sign of admiration for the courage of the defenders of Stalingrad. Special attention should also be paid to the overcoat of General Vasily Glazkov, which has more than 50 holes. An interesting exhibit of the museum panorama is the sniper rifle of Vasily Gregorievich Zaitsev. Notable exhibits of the museum also include other units of small arms and bladed weapons, as well as bloody party cards, various battle flags, the belongings of Georgi Konstantinovich Ukov, and other outstanding Soviet military leaders. The exposition of old military equipment, which can be viewed in the courtyard of the museum complex, is also of interest. Here, there are both models and equipment produced in the 1940s. In addition to the main building, which houses temporary and permanent exhibitions, the world-famous panorama, and where the administration of the museum reserve resides, the architectural ensemble of the Panorama Museum. Battle of Stalingrad also includes the legendary House of Soldiers' Glory, the Afro and Grudenin Mill, near the walls of which a copy of the Barmley Fountain is installed and a courtyard with a small exhibition of military equipment in front of the entrance to the museum.